Creating animated prototypes in Figma is great, but it's just not the real thing. It's not a live project that a client or a user can actually use. It's just a prototype. So in this video, I'll show you how to convert a Figma parallax animation into a real website animation using my favorite web design tool, Framer. As always, working files are linked down below. Now let's jump into it. All right, so when it comes to porting over Figma animations into Framer, it's really only one thing you need to do, and that is gathering the assets that you're using for your Figma animation. In this case, I've created this parallax animation that you can see here. I have a tutorial on it in the top right corner if you wanna learn how to create it. Now, from this animation, I've gathered this desktop frame, or actually it's really the desktop frame that I have here. I'm just gonna select this desktop frame. I will click up here on the resources tab, go to plugins and search for framer. Then I will run the framer plugin. You can see that it's copying the layers here. And once that's done, I will move over into framer. So I'll go here, I'll paste it, command V or control V if you're using a Windows machine. Once that's done, I'll target my outermost frame, change the width so that it maps to my Figma export here. I'll change the height to be fit content. And now if I hit command P, we have a website. This is ready to be published, but it's quite static at this point. If I wanna make this into the same kind of animation that we had in Figma, it's actually super simple. I will first just target all of the images that we have here. And once they're targeted or selected, I will go to the effects panel here to the right, go to scroll speed. 100% is the normal scrolling speed. So if I set this to 140, the images are gonna scroll faster than the actual scroll movement that I have that is 100% naturally. So if I play this now, you can see how the images move upwards, it seems, but actually they're just scrolling faster than my normal scroll. With that, we almost have the full effect. Now, I also wanna add a faster scroll speed to this light effect or this background blur, I guess. Maybe we can set this to 250 and maybe the parallax text here should be a bit slower. So maybe I'll set this to 50 or 40%. I'll even move it up a bit. And now as I play it, let's see how it looks. Yes, the shimmer or the background blur comes there and the images move upwards in the same way that the Figma animation did. Now, if we would want this to be more dynamic, we could change the scroll speeds of each individual image. We could do a bunch of things, but this is how easy it is to create a super simple parallax animation inside of Framer. Now, if you want to dig deeper into Framer, I have a full playlist on it here. Until the next one, have a great life. We'll talk soon. Ciao.